We're glad you've logged on to ClickOrlando.com. I'm News 6 meteorologist Troy Bridges pinpointing a mild night tonight. Temperatures in the 70s for the most part. Even late tonight at 10 o'clock, we're at 70 degrees with a coastal shower or two. Most of the rain that we see won't quite reach the ground as we still have some high pressure dominating the mid-levels of the atmosphere, but a little bit of moisture moving on shore as we head into the evening hours. And then again tomorrow as we see that wind kick up tomorrow out of the east off the ocean waters. We are warming to 79 at noon tomorrow, going up to 82 at 4, which is 10 degrees above the average for this time of year. Of course, that's 72. The clouds and rain forecast through tonight, showing the green there, indicating one or two of those showers with that east breeze trying to move on shore and trying to move inland as we take you through the afternoon tomorrow. So because of that breeze sticking around for the next couple of days, we can't rule out a few showers, but it does look mostly dry. In fact, because of that uh, mid-level high pressure, we're not going to see much in the way of rain, but we will see a few additional clouds on into the next couple of days. Still plenty of sun getting through to heat us well above the average and close to some records by Sunday. Morning lows early tomorrow in the mid 60s in many spots. 64 in Orlando, but 57 in Ocala, 69 at Cocoa Beach. So a mild start and then a big warm up through the day. Upper 70s along the coast, getting up to 82 in Orlando, 81 in Ocala, 80 in Melbourne. Now here's a look at the next three days and you see we do have some rain chances in the picture. A 20% chance by Monday on into Tuesday, but certainly looking good and warm for the next several days near 80 through the end of the week, even on Friday. Your forecast is always on right here at clickorlando.com.